And this is what ultimately leads to an increase in fat storage. So the prevailing model, the dogma, says that it's our behavior that's driving us to be obese. Alternatively, this alternative model suggests that diet quality, especially carbohydrate amount and type, creates this accelerated anabolic state which favors fat storage, increasing lipogenesis, formation of fat, reduction in lipolysis, an avid uptake of glucose into the fat cells, and also insulin resistance in the muscles. Now, insulin does what for you? You need insulin to do what? Huh? Yes. So when you ingest carbohydrates, they have three, one of three fates. They can be immediately used for energy, they can be stored in the muscle as glycogen, or they go to the liver, ultimately be stored as fat, and they also create fatty liver disease. Okay, if we don't have insulin, if we're, in, or we're insensitive or resistant to insulin, how is that carbohydrate going to get into your muscle? Where is it going to end up? So in this case, what happens is we have an increase in fat storage. That leads to a reduction in, action, in your circulating, metab circulating fuels. And if you're not metabolizing it, what happens to your hunger? It's going to increase a great deal. So any attempt to reduce my calories only exacerbates this problem. And if I'm hungry, I'm certainly not going to be physically active. And so in this case, it's this alternative model. By the way, this is a theory. I'm not saying it's correct or incorrect. But what do we have to work with? That 